Hey there, welcome to this video. This is Adrian from Technical Project Manager. Today we are going to look at a specific uh, problem that we want to solve in Microsoft Project when we are working with larger projects that we have to plan. And the thing is, sometimes we need to schedule work or act project activities also outside of regular office hours. Um, so this could be various things. For example, maybe the um, the technician has to come to the to the factory to repair a machine and this is done outside of the you know after after work when everybody is going home and the machine is no longer being used. So you, you would have to schedule that after office hours. Um, Another example which I'm going to use is, um, we, this is a simple scenario where we have three activities related, relating to um, maintaining and, and painting your uh, rooms for the house. So we are, let's imagine we are moving into a new flat or new house and we first need to um, paint the walls. So the first activity is paint interior of house. And there's a second task and this is now where the specific issue comes up. How can we schedule work on the weekend? And when, you, when we have done the painting it the paint needs to dry for for two days. So we need to plan in this buffer. So just let's call it here drying phase and then after the painting and the walls have dried we can furnish the house. So the next third task is then the uh, finish or furnish interior. So the first task is let's say three days, the drying, uh, drying phase is two days and then we have five days to furnish the house. And let's say we start with the painting on the 5th of February. So this is a Wednesday, meaning the, the task will continue or will end on Friday, the 7th of February. That's totally fine. Let's just make this big scroll over here. Uh, so now the let's let's link all tasks first of all. So let's make them. Let's go to task auto schedule so that they are being uh, planned in a sequence and link tasks. So here now you can see they are they are linked through these arrows on the Gantt chart. So we have the first activity, which is the painting, which is three days, starts on Wednesday, ends on Friday. And then the drying phase is two days, but you can see that it's scheduled for Monday and Tuesday, but this doesn't make sense because the, the house can dry on the weekend when we, are, when we are not there, so that we can come back on Monday and furnish the house. So that's, that's exactly the, the problem. Because of, uh, no, not Office, but Microsoft Project by default will use the regular, you know, Office, uh, regular calendar with the standard office hours from Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. through, through 5 p.m. Um, to schedule your project. But sometimes you, you have these exceptions. And in this case, the exception is this task, the drying phase, which should be scheduled on the weekend. This could also be, you know, any other off schedule um, uh, or uh, task which should be scheduled outside of working hours. So, what in order to accomplish that that goal of scheduling the drying phase on the weekend, we first need to create a separate calendar, and for this we go to the project tab and then change working time. So this is where you can make all the, the settings to the calendar and you know what times should be used to plan the project. So let's go there. 
and we are currently using the standard calendar. So now we have to create an additional calendar. So this is used in addition and let's call it um, calendar with weekend work. So, and we just make a copy of the standard calendar. Okay, so now this calendar is selected here. And now go to work weeks to the tab and then double click here on the first row. So here you can see there are the defined working hours for every day. And you can also see that Saturday and Sunday no work is scheduled. So let's change that. Let's put in the same working hours for Saturday and Sunday. So we start at 8 a.m. and then this goes on to uh, 12 a 12 a.m. Uh, sorry, 12 p.m. We continue at 1 p.m. So I'm using the European um, number logic and then till 5 p.m. And the same for Saturday, uh, for Sunday. So we start at 8. So now I have a problem here. Oops, sorry. Let's go back. So this is maintained. Ah, okay. I, I forgot to select here the this radio button. Start at 8, finish work at 12, and then there's a break, a lunch break, and then we continue at 1 and finish at 5 p.m. So now you can see that the, the legend shows that Saturday and Sunday they are also wide, which means they are working working days. So that's it. Now click OK. So so far we have just created the calendar. It's currently not being used. So now we want to link this task to the newly created calendar. And for this you just double click on the task item, go to advanced and then here choose the calendar and here you can see the newly created calendar, calendar with weekend work. Select it, press OK and now see what happens. Now the drying phase is, is occurring on Saturday and Sunday which is exactly what we want. And we can continue. We can start on Monday to put up the furniture. Isn't that nice? So very easy. And this is how you schedule work outside of office hours or on the weekend, very easily. So I hope that was helpful. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't so far. And there's also the, a link to the corresponding article on tacticalprojectmanager.com where you'll find more useful resources and tutorials for project management in general, but also for Microsoft Project specifically. All the best, take care and bye-bye.